Good Thursday morning, everyone. Welcome to AMHQ Early. I'm meteorologist Jackie Jarrows. We've got just one week to go now until Thanksgiving. Are you ready? AAA estimates more, more people will be traveling this year compared to the past one dozen years. So whether you're heading out today, this weekend, or next week, we are your Thanksgiving travel headquarters. But for what we can expect across the region this morning, most of the rain showers that we're dealing with here are relatively light. All of us are waking up to the cloudy conditions spotty showers can be expected for the a.m. rush. So keep that in mind. This is probably going to last till maybe uh, 7, 8 o'clock in places like New York City. We've had some spotty showers around Albany. And then back behind it, you can see some more wraparound showers as that cold front begins to push on through the region. So here's what we're expecting hour by hour along the I-95 corridor. Notice we're looking dry already in places like Washington, D.C. By 8 o'clock, I think you're done here in New York City, but still hanging on in Hartford and likely Providence as well. The rain is going to last longer in places like uh, Boston as well as into Portland as low pressure kind of develops off the coast here today and brings more rain across parts of New England and into coastal Maine especially. That's where we could see some of the heaviest amounts and where it's going to be impacting even your PM rush here for today as well. Notice the colder air and gusty conditions are going to be coming in on the back side of this system and the air will be cold enough with some lingering moisture that we'll see some snow mixing in with with the rainfall primarily across parts of upstate New York and then also into the green and white mountains where we're going to see a little bit of snowfall. Well, AAA's annual Thanksgiving travel for Academy of the Airports are the better way to go, or maybe just across town to your friend's house who's cooking a really good turkey dinner or something like that. So what can you expect across the country? Well, what about snow? Is that a possibility where you live? When we take a look at climatology, uh, it's very unlikely, of course, that you would see that across the southern tier of the country. But on average, you usually see at least an inch or more of snow on the ground in places like uh, the upper Dakotas into northern parts of Minnesota through the UP of Michigan, maybe a 10 to 20 percent chance in places like Kansas City as well as over towards St. Louis and the Northeast. Notice the chance is really low, even into New York City as well as Philadelphia and into Washington, D.C. So what's the reality of it if you're heading over the river and through the woods on your Saturday? We do expect to see some travel delays, fairly significant. Just rain, though, with the low clouds could hold you up in Boston as well as LaGuardia. More significant problems in uh, Chicago, Cleveland, and Memphis where we could see showers and thunderstorms bringing some heavy downpours. Now, things look pretty good out west on your Saturday, but as we head into Sunday, things are going to be changing pretty significantly. A new storm moves into the Pacific Northwest, which means Seattle and Portland not looking too good at the airports on your Sunday and into the Northeast. Saturday may be more of a difficult travel day, but by Sunday, we could still see some showers into the morning hours, but then later in the day on Sunday, uh, we're expecting a lot of this to clear out, but winds sometimes are an issue at the airports as well, and that's something we'll have to watch uh, by late in the weekend. Well, let's go coast to coast now. Here's a quick look at your Thursday morning weather headlines. Viral this Sunday, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. Hope you can tune in for it. Time now for your sunrise forecast. Still dark and early in most places today, but we're expecting a really nice sunrise in some parts of the upper Midwest and into the Ohio River Valley. Check it out, Jacksonville. Your sunrise should be nice. Not so good across the Northeast. We've got a lot of cloud cover and all of that rain for today. As we take a look out west, it should be good across southern parts of California, but not good in Northern California where you're getting some of that rain and also the Four Corners region should be seeing a beautiful sunrise this morning as well. Well, we have got much more to tomorrow. So the good news is, is that uh, the rain is going to move through quickly. The bad news is it's impacting your morning commute. So we do expect to see some slowdowns on the roadways as well as into the airports all across the megalopolis for today. Uh, Washington, D.C., we think you're pretty much done with the rain. You've got another couple hours to go here in New York City. The rain's going to last longer in places like Hartford and Providence and Boston as low pressure up the coast uh, kind of spirals on in and gets caught into all of this which means your rain is also likely going to be a little bit heavier than the rest of us. So let's put this into motion and track it hour by hour. There you can see that rain moving out of Philly and D.C., but still kind of lingering on Long Island through 8 o'clock or so. The rain just gets started, say, 8, 9 o'clock or so into Boston, and then look what happens here as we head into the afternoon hours. That low kind of wraps 
wraps around the region and continues to be bring rainfall likely through the PM rush. So be prepared for that. It's not going to rain every minute all day long, but have your umbrella and with those cool gusty winds coming in on the back side of this, uh, you're definitely going to want a good jacket to go along with it for today. Notice by tonight as that cooler air moves in, we are going to see some of that snow with elevation, especially across Pennsylvania and to parts of upstate New York. The green and white mountains should be seeing some snowfall out of all of this as we head through tonight as well. Here's the forecast then for you for Albany. We're expecting the showers through a good portion of the morning kind of off and on. This should be done uh, for you by maybe 9, 10 o'clock for tonight. New York City, as I mentioned, through maybe 8 o'clock at the latest. The clouds are going to linger through probably lunchtime or so, and then we'll see clearer skies later on today. I wouldn't rule out, by the way, uh, New York, some of the models trying to pick up a brief shower uh, as a few clouds roll through, maybe 4, 5, 6 o'clock. So keep in mind that that's a possibility. I don't think it's going to be anything heavy if it does happen. Here's a look at Boston. We've got our dry start here. Rain showers kick in about mid to late morning, and that will last into the afternoon hours. So notice those temperatures, too. So it's kind of that cold November rain uh, that everybody talks about. 45 degrees to start your day, only ending up at 48 degrees. And we will see a bit of a chill tomorrow, even compared to what you're going to be dealing with. The West Mountains, but also some lake effect snow uh, could be happening this weekend, especially on your Sunday. So what can you expect this time now for your weekend? and view and we'll start out with your Thursday. A lot of the travel troubles are going to be confined to the northeast today as well as much of the west as another storm system plows into the coast here and brings some heavy rain and some heavy mountain snow. The nation's midsection looks good but it is going to be a little gusty and cold. As we head into your Friday we'll watch for some showers pushing into parts of the Plain States from the Twin Cities down towards Des Moines. Chicago your rain should hold off until Friday night. As we head into your Saturday we'll get to that weekend forecast now and that will show you a wintry mix across parts of the Great Lakes. Showers and thunderstorms, if you could bring some heavy downpours and gusty winds in the Ohio and Tennessee.